Cardinal Mario Grech is the Secretary General of the Synod on Synodality and is tasked with organizing this assembly of bishops in October of 2023. EWTN Vatican Bureau Chief Andreas Thonhauser sat down with him and discussed where the preparations on the Synod stand. Could you share with us a little bit your, your personal hopes, um, objectives? What will be uh, your wish for the outcome also of, of, of the Synod? Listen, <clears throat> I never expected that I was going to get engaged in such a very <laughs> spiritual, ecclesial experience. And now I find myself, the Holy Father called me to take part in this, <laughs> in this process, uh, in this particular office, uh, accompanying the, the, the church on its reflection on the church itself. So a synodal church for mission. This really um, gives me hope and joy. You have been asking people from around the world also to, to contribute, to participate also in this process. Are there any engaging, inspiring concepts of, of evangelization? Mission and synodality are the two faces of the same coin. No? So we need a synodal church in order to be more effective in our mission. And how can be really effective today if all the people of God uh, becomes conscious that we are all subjects of evangelization. That evangelization is not uh, restricted only to a special class, a special group. Everybody is invited, or better still, must feel duty bound to announce Jesus to humanity today. There has been, of course, also criticism of the Synod on Synodality. Is there any criticism that worries you with, where you say, well, this is actually something that I would really like to address? First of all, I understand those who have doubts or fears or different point of views. For me, criticism is valuable, is a value, and it should help all in our discernment process. Then to your question, I have my fears as well. No? For example, those who are opposing the people of God and the hierarchy. No? Because the fact that uh, now in this synodal process, uh, everyone was allowed to raise his voice. Some might think that we are on a way leading to a sort of a democracy. The church is not a democracy. <laughs> the church is hierarchical. Issues such as same-sex marriage, as abortion. How should the Synod on Synodality help address some of those so-called hot-button issues? So it is true what you are saying. I mean, during the first phase of consultation or listening phase, um, various issues uh, were raised, as you are underlining. But, and uh, at one point, me and uh, Cardinal Jean-Claude Olerich, the general relator for the, this synod, we sent a letter to all bishops. And when we sent to the old bishops, <laughs> to all the churches, um, highlighting the fact that the theme of this particular synod is for a synodal church. Other issues will not be discarded. I mean, we will put them on the back burner, but they are not uh, issues that should be tackled by this particular synodal assembly. Your task also even of, of communicating and, and explaining the synodal process has not necessarily become easier with a parallel process uh, here in Europe that has also raised a lot of attention. Uh, I'm speaking of the German synodal path. What is your take on that? Unfortunately, no, the uh, synodal path in Germany sent negative vibes in all the church. I was in Africa, I was in, in Bangkok, no, and I listened to people who were a bit hesitant, no, worried 
I mean, about what, what was taking place in Germany. I mean, that was, which is, it is not a synod eh, in Germany. <laughs> it's a synodal uh, journey, uh, synodal vague, they call it, no? Canonically, is not um, neither a diocesan nor a, a national uh, synod, as far as I know, <laughs> no? Um, but again, they are two different uh, ecclesial experiences, but they are not, bishops are not autonomous. Bishops form part of a college of bishops. And there are issues that belong to the whole church that need to be addressed by all the bishops together, together with Peter. So those proposals in Germany um, that have been voted on as well, adopted, and there were demands that this is being added to the agenda of, 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 of the Synod? No, no because I, as I told you, I mean, they are two different um, experiences, no? I, I really believe that this moment of grace will help us to become more spiritual. Because the winds of uh, the world, no? can blow also in the church. And we have to pay attention. We don't have an agenda. The agenda is already set, but set in the gospel, <laughs> set by Jesus Christ. And we have to do our reflection, listening to the word of God in the light of tradition, <laughs> in the light of the magisterium. We are not uh, starting a fresh page today as nothing happened in the past. Uh, we need to make more time for prayer to be able to kneel down in the presence of the Lord.